Hello and welcome back to the channel. A lot of you guys have been asking for an update on the GAT M3, G82, M4 redesign of the front bumper and we are in a position that we can actually share more with you. I'd just like to point out before we start this video that we are not pitching this as a fix for the front bumper. This is an alternative. When the car first came out, I was very unsure about the big grills. I'm still not 100% convinced, but I've got used to the look. It is very, very aggressive and not like anything else on the road. And it's very un BMW like, if that makes sense. If you have a look at the models that have come out after that, they're not using grills that are that big. They are using various different ones. So on the iX, it's not a grill, but it has that kind of shape, but it's not as large. This is merely to provide an alternative to people who don't like that or just actually want to be different. With that in mind, when this car first came out, a lot of people were doing photoshops of the car with various different front ends like the G20 and the M8, which was very, very popular. I just like to point out that you could do that on Photoshop, but in reality, it's very, very different. This render I'm about to share with you is actually based off the 3D scan of the car and it works with the OE hood and everything that's behind the OE bumper. So without further ado, here is what we've come up with. This is the actual CAD data for the bumper we have designed. I'll just go over a few points on this bumper before we actually share the render of the bumper fitted to the car to give you an actual representation of what it will look like. So you can see from the grill, it's quite a bit smaller. It's frameless because if we put a frame in there, it will actually make the grill look even smaller. It doesn't quite work. So we've come up with a novel grill design that is frameless and actually looks more like the G80 style, if that makes sense, because that is a frameless grill design. If we look towards the bottom part, we've left the air intakes where they need to be to provide air to the intake and the brakes. And the bottom part of the bumper is the same color on this render, but if we switch it to black, that gives you an example of what it can look like if you painted it gloss black or if you left it in exposed carbon fiber so people can go for different looks depending on what they want. So this is what this render looks like on a car. So this first render I'm going to show you is based off our G80, which is oxide gray. It has the same wheels and the same kind of stance to give you an idea of what this bumper will look like on our car. What do you guys think of it? Do you think the grills are too small? Do you think it flows with the rest of the design? Obviously, we're not gonna be able to please everybody, and I know that. I've been in business for 15 years, you can't please everybody. You just kind of have to do things that are pleasing to your own eyes, and hopefully the people who also like it will buy into it. If we look at the second render I'm gonna show you, this is based off a M4, which is finished in Ferrari red, so it just gives you a different view of it on a different color. This car is running the same wheels as our G80, but we've just made them black to kind of hide them in the background. Again, the car is lowered, so shows you a slightly more aggressive stance. We have actually shared these pictures already on the internet and they are getting a lot of controversial views and we're really interested to see what you guys think of them. So please do get involved in the comment section below. Production wise, we are actually ready to produce this bumper. There's two options when it comes to production. One is to have it done in OEM style plastic. That will actually make the cost of the bumper to the customer a lot less, but the tooling costs for us are huge and we're not completely convinced that our investment in that tooling will come back to us. We'd have to sell literally thousands and thousands of bumpers and I'm not sure we're going to do that. So initially we're going to make a prototype in carbon fiber because we can then use that mold to produce small batches of the product. That does mean the bumper will be more expensive for the end user. So if you want an idea of what it will cost like, if you find another OE replacement front bumper uh, for the F series, like for example, from 3D Design, the price I guess will be in line with that, but we don't know until we produce it. So that's it covered in terms of the design, why it looks like it does, the renders of it, finished on the car and how we're going to produce it. The prototype I'm hoping to have ready in January. So we will actually put that on our oxide gray G80, paint it, finish it up, and then we'll be able to share some video with you. But in the meantime, please guys, let us know what you think of the bumper so far. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. 
If you want to join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you want to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.